Black Dogs. Not Black Dog, Black Dogs Theatre Company, Black Dogs Arts, or even The Black Dogs. Just Black Dogs. We formed in 2003 because we were bored. Bored of watching TV, shopping, eating out, and most of all, bored of work. We wanted to show people the art that we made. Art that showed that we spent our time making things instead of consuming them. We wanted to show our art to people who weren't students, tutors or artists already. To show it to people to whom it might matter. To people that were also bored. In Leeds there are a lot of people to show to, as there are a lot of bored people. It seemed though that there were not a lot of places to show art in. So we use different places and different spaces, like the top floors of restaurants, the bottom floors of tower blocks, and then social clubs, bookshops, and bus stations. We weren't alone. Art in Leeds crops up in the top rooms of pubs, indoor markets, sometimes even on the streets. Showing our art in these places changed the type of art we made. We didn't want to just show people things, we wanted them to be part of them. We created situations where people could talk, drink, make things, draw, drink, listen, eat, drink, and even try new things. What we made became less important as the audience took control, and so took responsibility for making their own fun. We worked with more and more people. Black dogs continue to grow and change. It includes people who don't call themselves artists. Sometimes it doesn't matter if it's even called art. Light night came along, and light night was our kind of night. Something to do in Leeds on an evening, other than eating kebabs and getting drunk. It engages people on the street and changes the streets they're on. It this opens up new places late into the night, and things begin to spill to. out of them. Galleries, theatres, colleges and universities, back streets, gardens, city squares, churches and barges, places where money takes a well-earned break. We ask ourselves, how can we add to this light night? Some sort of complementary condiment, something with sensitivity and taste. Bondage on the streets was our answer. A programme of activity that glues the events and destinations together to keep the night surreally sustained. We have shrines to which you add, feasts from which you take, primal performances, half-truth tour guides and marchers in Wellington boots and high heels. There will be dancing market researchers, travelling string quartets and masked saxophonists, symposiums for awful ideas for the future, and on the street corners, a travel game wielding challenger inviting you to play noughts and crosses, hangman, battleships, spot the difference, and 20 questions in masks that look like this. But how should we put all this on the street without making Leeds our theatre set? Because the point in this bondage is not to cover up, but highlight what is already there. For every game played, an I Spy guide is given. The guide is a game to take you through the city with your eyes and ears open, to look not just for art, but also at buildings, people, and the details that are normally overlooked. Because when light night is over and the mentalists have returned back from where they came, Leeds will still be filled with treats and prospects for fun. We'll have just pointed out where they are. <laughs>